Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at the enrollment prediction report. And uh, I think the most basic form of an enrollment prediction would be to assume that if, say, you had 10 students in the first grade this year, uh, just assume that you would have 10 students in the second grade next year, and then 10 students in the third grade the year after that. And while that's a good place to start, I don't think that's going to be a, a particularly accurate um, enrollment prediction. Um, schools tend to uh, grow or shrink uh, as people move in and move out. Uh, you get transfers in from other uh, districts and things like that. And so what this report attempts to do is create a, a prediction of those trends uh, and then puts that on top of the, the basic um, enrollment prediction of just taking your current year's enrollment and applying that to the, the one grade higher the, the next year. Um, so the first thing we do is collect five years of historical data um, from your school. And so uh, you can see here that we get the enrollment for each grade um, for uh, the five years previous as well as the current year. And you can see here uh, that there's a lot of things going on here. But for example, between fifth and sixth grade, uh, you can see that in 1718, this school had eight students. Uh, and then the following year in sixth grade, they had eight students. So they actually didn't lose any students. Um, between fifth and sixth grade uh, between these two school years. If you look at uh, the next year, they had five students uh, and then they had four in sixth grade. So they lost one student. Uh, here you see that they gained three students. Here you see that they gained one student. Here you see that they gained one student. Um, so on average across all of those years, uh, what you can say is that this school uh, will gain 17% of its enrollment. So their enrollment from fifth grade um, will grow by 17% on average uh, in the sixth grade. And then the flip side of that, you can see here that uh, for this school in particular, from 1718 to 1819, uh, they lost three students from 10th to 11th grade, lost two students, lost one student, gained one student, lost one student. But on average, uh, this school will uh, their enrollment between 10th and 11th grade will go down um, by 24% on average for this school. And so that builds the predictive model for this particular school. And if I scroll down here, you can see this graph is just showing visually what that uh, predictive model is. Uh, and uh, what you can see in this particular school is that they tend to uh, gain students throughout elementary and middle school, and then students transfer out um, really throughout high school. And once we have that predictive model, we can then apply that to that basic model of just uh, looking at uh, enrollment one year and assuming that it will be the same the following year, but applying that predictive model to it. So uh, you can see here that the school in 22-23 had nine students in kindergarten. If we assume that on average that uh, enrollment will grow by 7.4%, uh, we can uh, assume that they will have 10 students in 23-24. In the next grade, we can assume that it will grow by 14.8% and there'll be 11 students in uh, second grade in 24-25 and you kind of extend that out uh, throughout the, uh, the years there. And that's the way the predictive model is built. Uh, we have a couple of visualizations of what that will look like in the future. And so this top one up here is the uh, prediction by grade. And what we do is for all of those numbers in the predictive model, we just look at what does eighth grade look like uh, for the next uh, five years. And so each of these bars here is a year in the future. And uh, you can see that for this particular school, they're expected to eighth grade is expected to grow uh, over the next few years. Um, and so that's what this graph shows here. 
If you scroll down, this graph down at the bottom shows the exact same data, but instead of grouping it by grade and showing one bar per year, we group it by year and show one bar per grade. Uh, and this gives you a sense of what the shape of your school will look like uh, over the next several years. So this would be the one year following, this would be the five years in the future. Um, and you can get kind of a, sh a sense of what shape your school will be um, and uh, be able to see that in the visualization there. Uh, a couple of things to point out. Uh, we do collect the data on pre-K enrollment, but what we've discovered is that pre-K enrollment is not predictive of what kindergarten enrollment will be. Uh, and so we don't actually build a predictive model from pre-K uh, to kindergarten. Um, the other thing to point out here is that uh, since we don't base kindergarten enrollment on pre-K enrollment, we're looking at just kind of a, a trend line of what your enrollment in kindergarten uh, has been. And you can kind of see uh, that's what this is showing right here is that the, the kindergarten enrollment is trending up slightly uh, over the years. And so it will um, use that for its predictive model going forward. Um, another thing to point out here is that even though the predictive model is going to round up to the nearest whole number, uh, these predictions are actually uh, decimals and partial students. And so uh, even though the prediction for kindergarten says seven across the board, uh, here you can see that it's growing slightly by a, a percentage of a student. Um, and it's using those percentage of students um, to base its prediction on for future years. And so, um, that's why you're seeing uh, the slight growth there. Uh, I believe that's all there is to, uh, to say here. And so this is our uh, enrollment prediction. If you have questions about this report or any of the reports, uh, feel free to reach out directly at milliganschooldata at gmail.com. Thank you very much.